Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here. Wait, wait. Wait a second. It is a rainy afternoon here at the barnyard. And we get our sunglasses on because this is actually the most appropriate weather for sunglasses. So I figured it would be a good time to head on over to the golf course. Yep, that's right, the golf course. Otis wants to play precision golf on the back nine. This is our last game of go for golf. Not only that, but this is also one of the last missions of the game. We have only five missions left in the entire game, including this one. After this mission, we have one more in chapter seven, then we're ending off chapter seven. Then we have two missions, just two, literally just two missions in chapter eight, and then the final mission of the game in chapter nine. So, whoops, let's try this again. Are you ready, Otis? Is this good enough weather for you? Is this good enough weather to play golf? How about a round of golf? Are you ready to try precision golf on the back nine? What the heck, I'll give it a shot. After all, this is the Go For Golf finale. This is literally the send off of Go For Golf. I can't believe this, for the second time too. I specifically remember being a lot more bitter about the send off of Go For Golf last time we played this. All right, well, here we go. One more time. I'm really getting the hang of this, actually. Okay, so yes, uh, in the back nine, you actually get 12 shots instead of just, instead of the, uh, I think it was uh, eight we had, or nine last time. I think we had nine shots per hole on the original Izzy Springs holes. But on the back nine, you get 12 shots. So that will allow you to plenty of time to get the ball to the end of the end of the course. So that might be a concern with, especially with a uh, hole 17. This whole 17 is a very lengthy one, so that might be a bit a bit concerning there. But other than that, 12 is plenty of shots to get you know to get to the to get to the hole. So here we go again. So I can uh, safely cons uh oh, sorry uh, safely uh, so I can safely conclude to you guys right now that this LP is going to be concluding concluding. In uh, early November, we are going to be, um, we're going to have the finale, but we're also going to have a bonus episode. And in that bonus episode, I'm going to show everything I possibly can. I have cheat codes to show. I have, uh, oh geez. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I have cheat codes to show. We have the bonus features in the main menu. Um, there's also, uh, there's also stuff that happens after the, after you complete the story mode. So I'll be showing that too. But other than that, I I'm not gonna be doing like that that revisit thing I did with the original Let's Play, where I came back like two years later just to show off some uh, you know some some other things I forgot to show off in the bonus features. No, we're gonna show everything off in the bonus episode this time. Let's see if I can get this. Ah, I hate when that happens. Wait, there we go. We're good. Okay, so yeah, I. I'm gonna make sure to show off show off everything in the bonus episode this time. I do not plan to ever come back to this Let's Play. I'm sorry. If I ever play Go for or sorry, not just Go for Golf, but if I ever play through this game again, it's gonna be the PS2 or PC version in a live stream. So yeah, rest assured, there's not gonna be like a, a one video revisit like a couple years later or anything like that, like I did in, with the 2011 playthrough. So. Just wanted to get that out of the way and confirm that right now. So anyways, uh, while we're playing golf, uh, where are other variations of golf we play in other games? Like, the, obviously there's the Mario Golf games, but there is also, one that comes to mind for me is the uh, mini golf game in Madagascar. Because they had one, and each hole is based off a location of the of the game. And the whole, like the, the golf courses themselves, they all take place in, in Madagascar. But the courses are designed um, to to like um, to reflect other other areas of the movie, such as like New York and uh, and the ship and whatnot, like stuff like that. So and it's not even part of the story mode. Like you don't have to play it to you know beat the story mode. It's just a totally optional thing you can do. You can, you go to the gift shop and you purchase it. 
And uh, I think he just purchased like either, was it characters for it? I don't know. I think he just purchased the game and that's it. And yeah, it's a totally optional thing. You can play it with like up to nine players, I think. You just take turns like holding the controller basically. So. That's just another example of, go of uh, golf you can play in other games. I mean, there's Wii Sports Golf. That's actually a really good one. I have some fond memories of playing that with the other United We Play members back in, uh, especially back in 27. Oh God, I hate it when they when they do that. Like, why do the Gophers like always hit it like in the opposite direction of you? It's so stupid. Like those are bad. They're not really helpful at all. They just make things worse. Okay. So there you go. If you want me to get frustrated today, there you go. I got. There's my one little little second of frustration with this game. But earn that, I'm just going to maintain a calm... D like I was saying, I'm going to maintain a calm demeanor. Even if I lose a life, I'm still going to remain calm. Because that's just how it, that's how it's going to go. We're going to have a, a fun, happy send-off to go for golf. See? See? Here you go. An example of it going right for me for once. Going to have a happy, proper send off of go for golf. There we go. Just go into the hole. Go into the hole. Fine then. Do I have to do everything myself? Okay. Just hit it gently. Thank you. There you go. It's just annoying when you get down to that last shot and you're right next to the hole, and then you try to hit it gently, and then it bounces off the hole. You know, it's so annoying. go now let's see if I can get this on the first try huh not quite I mean we got it like all the way to the end of the hole so that's pretty good we might get it on the second shot let's see Yeah! Second shot. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. I think I deserve an extra life for, for that run alone. I'm kidding. Alright. But yes, if you hate go for golf, rest assured, this is the last time you have to play it as far as story mode. They will not make you do the full 18 holes of precision golf, which is very surprising too. You know, some of these chapters could have used, like, some of these later chapters definitely could have used some uh, lengthening. That's an obvious way they could have done it, is by making you precision in golf on the full 18 holes, but I think a lot of us are in agreement that that was probably for the better. It's like, seriously, I don't think anyone was begging to play this again. They must have known, like, this is the most difficult minigame to play, honestly, by the just by the fact that they make you play it five times compared to all the other minigames. Like, how many times they make you play the other minigames? Make you play chicken launch three times, okay. And they don't change it at all either. Like basically from what I can get from what I can tell, just by the design of the game alone, Go for Golf was probably the favorite game for the for the game devs or something like that. It must be. It's got I think from what I can tell it's the one they put the most effort into. You know, to make it as long as possible. And to put as many variations of it as they can. I don't know. So I'm not doing that good, but hopefully still good enough to get a star. I hope so. I think I was still actually doing better on the original playthrough. I just watched it briefly before going in to do this one. But here we are on hole 16. Just three more to go. Let's see. Uh... I'm pretty sure there are other variations of golf I'm not thinking of right now that I played in other games. But I think Wii Sports is probably my favorite, honestly. I know there's golf on NES. I have that. It's, uh... I play a little bit of it. It's pretty meh. It's not something I go on my way to play, I guess. I guess you play it just for the sake of having it, or owning it, or whatever. But otherwise, it's just... It's probably a stupid idea right here if I'm going to do this. Maybe it's not a stupid idea. Look at that. Check that out. Oh yeah. Okay, so not quite. Well, it 
it made over the ramp I was trying to make it over. So there you go. I couldn't make it over two ramps, but whatever. I'm not going to complain about that. But you got to be really exact when you do this part. Because it could easily just eat. You make just a slight curve, and that's all it takes for it to hit the wall and then come be sent right back to you. There we go. Eh, always gotta, gotta love whenever it goes behind a fence, right? Okay, well, this is not too bad. Blech! Gotta love the sounds those gophers make. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, oh, 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 all right, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so nine shots to get into this hole. I can do this. I know I can do this. I know, yeah! Oh, yeah. What up? Okay, hole 17, this is the big one. I find this more difficult than the last hole. I think this, even though it makes, like, a, from a setting standpoint, it makes sense that the last hole takes place at the barnyard, but I think this should have been last hole, because I find this one to be the most difficult. I would have felt that way in the uh, GameCube version if it weren't for that last shot you have to make up the chicken coop on hole 18. But they seem to fix it in this Wii version, because I have no trouble with it at all. Because, like, the thing is, what I... My issue with hole 18 on the GameCube version is that it seems pretty random whether or not it goes into, like, all the way up the chicken coop into the hole. It seems totally random. So, that's that was my issue with it. it seemed, I guess it was like buggy or something, because I, I don't have any trouble with it at all in this version. Can you please like not go all the way up the ramp this time? Please? Thank you. Part of the other reason why I try it, where I start... Okay, well actually, yeah, this, this hole is an exception to the uh, 12 to the 12 shots thing, because, yeah, they knew it was a long, it, it's a longer course, so you're going to need the extra shots to make it through this one. It's always a bad idea to do full, full stroke there, but it worked out for me. I just wish the gophers would move faster, that'd be nice. I don't care if they're moving underground, okay? Screw, screw logic. When does it matter before with video games? Please. Oh my god, can you please not go all the way back up the ramp? Please, it's so annoying. I'm just trying to get past the ramp and move on. Oh god. Please, for the love of god, just don't go back up the ramp. It's all masking. Okay. Me too. Eh, come on, come on, come on. Just... Please, can you please, like, just land in a spot that works for me? Please? That's all masking. There we go. Okay. Okay, six more shots. I'm just going to make it over this loop-de-loop -loop here. These loop-de-loops are so annoying because, like, it can... If you don't... You have to throw it just the right shot and with just the right amount of power. Otherwise, it's going to just come right back down the loop-de-loop, -loop, and it's so annoying. I think these ramps are just the biggest issue with the with the back nine. Well, that and how how long they they take to clear too. Thank you. Two shots remaining. That's not too good, but you know, well, we made it. All right, here we are. Last hole. I I still have all my lives, so that'll help help at least. Yeah, I don't recall the wire being that loud. That was pretty noisy. I was wondering what that was until I turned and saw it. Okay. Uh, yeah, a big problem is that even though there's no time limit, I still find myself rushing through these, these courses anyways because I want to get through them. You know, I just don't... I mean, like, it's nice you can take your time, but that doesn't doesn't change the fact that you still want to be done with this anyways. You know, because it's so annoying and repetitive. Ah! Uh, I don't know. Please just go into the hole, please! For the love of God! Ah! Uh, 
Please just go in. Thank you. Uh. I wasn't having this trouble any other, any other two times we played back nine. So what is this crap? You know, as much as I was uh, bashing on it the first time we played back nine, I wasn't still wasn't mining it as much as I thought I was or thought I was going to. Okay, uh, we're almost there. We got two more ramps to get through. And I got a waste of shot to get positioned right for this ramp. That's, I think that's the biggest, that's one of the biggest challenges you run into is like positioning the ball just right for the ramps. Get them to get them up the ramps. Okay, there we go. We gotta get past this ramp. Come on, like I just wanna, I just wanna, you know, fire it far enough that it'll just get past the ramp and not hit the wall and come back to me. Can we do that? Please, 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 please. Thank you. Yay! Okay. Should we position just right to get this? It's full blast. Yeah! What's up? Go for golf is done. All right. And star. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And believe it or not, this is the last mini game of the entire game that you're scored on. The last one. This is the 25th star of the game. And unfortunately I have 24 because of uh, Tease Mrs. Beatty. Nifty. But still. Four. You've beaten every kind of golf there is. You are one cow golfing machine. You can only... You can always work on your high scores. Come back anytime if you want to play some more precision to golf on back nine. Gotcha. Catch you later, buddy. Catch you later too, buddy. Just make the holes a little less annoying next time. Thank you. Just make the make the physics work in my favor, please. Please and thank you. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the weird the weirdly the strangely placed one. Yeah, so Otis says to come here for Precision golf back nine. Not that you would ever want to play it again, but still, he, he tells you to come here if you anytime if you want to play it. But although I can't prove it because you know it's nighttime and thanks to you know time transitioning during uh, mini games, this is actually where you play where you access uh, precision golf back nine after you play it. I don't know why of all places it's over here and not in. Izzy Springs Golf Course. Again, there's plenty of room for those mini games over there. Like all five of the Go for Golf mini games. I don't know what what case is, but either way, that's where it is. And there's another one actually over here in Dan in Dankly Pie. I don't know which one it was, but yeah, one of them's over here too. It's like it makes no sense, but whatever. Either way. That's going to be it to, for today's episode of Barnyard. And as you guys notice, I do have the Barnyard Deluxe Bike now. Yep, I bought it for this chapter. And this is the bike we're going to have for the rest of the game. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, y'all. See you guys next time for some more Barnyard. And uh, see you guys tonight for some more Luigi's Mansion, as you guys know. Or however I am distributing the episodes, if it's less than 30. I don't know. I'm recording this before October, if it isn't clear enough. But yeah. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Barnyard. I'd like to give a shout out to currently my only patron, Jose Cazaraz. If you'd like to have your channel featured here or see episodes ahead of time, follow the Patreon link below for more details. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of new episodes. Tune in tomorrow for another video.